Hello again, winners. I'm Matthew Hurley from Jim Hurley's Network. And yes, if you joined us over the New Year's holiday, you are a winner. We did get off to a great start January 1st, winning our farewell game of the year with the Giants easily covering over the Cowboys and scoring with the Chargers hammering Oakland, the Chiefs upsetting the Broncos, and the Patriots coming back to crush the Bills. And yes, we weren't quite up to snuff with the Vikings or 49ers, but 4-2 and two is 67% and the highest rated play won. Now, Monday, Jim Hurley's network and you did even better as our annual bull bash went 3 and 1. And you can see the power of information as we went 2 and 0 oh with our underdog bull parlay of the year Stanford plus the 4 covering against Oklahoma State and Michigan State plus the 2 beating Georgia outright. We also won with South Carolina minus the 3 easily beating Nebraska 30 to 13. We look to have the right side in Tuesday's Sugar Bowl, but Virginia Tech plus a three lost in OT to Michigan 23 to 20 after mistakes and missed opportunities wasted a dominant defensive performance. Now a 7-3 and 1 start in football coupled with a 4 and 1 start in the basketball for 2012 should set the tone for the 28th winning year here at Jim Hurley's Network. And we've got a lot more winning planned this week in the NBA, college basketball, the big BCS championship rematch between LSU and Alabama, and we'll talk more on that later, and of course the wild card weekend in the NFL. Now speaking of wild card weekend, let's take a look at what we can expect. The NFL postseason kicks off Saturday afternoon when the Bengals head into Reliance Stadium to face the Houston Texans. Now this is somewhat ironic because the Texans have limped into the playoffs and the last time they won a game was December 11th when they rallied to defeat these Bengals 20-19 in Cincinnati. Now recent history shows it's hard to beat a team in the playoffs after you've beaten them in the regular season. In 2009, for example, the Green Bay Packers blew out the Arizona Cardinals in their final win of the regular season, only to lose to Arizona in the wild card round 51-45. to Now another interesting fact in this game is that the Bengals, Andy Dalton, and the Texans, TJ Yates, are the first rookie quarterbacks to face each other in a playoff game since the 1970 NFL-AFL merger. So how the rookies handle the pressure may be key to this game. Later Saturday, the Saints host the Lions at the Superdome. Now last year the Saints were embarrassed in a wild card round, losing 41 to 36 as a 10 point road favorite at Seattle. This year, the Saints get the noise advantage in their dome at home. The Lions have been postseason strangers for many years, and that'll be extra motivation, as if any of the NFL teams need extra motivation this time of year. But the Saints are 8-0 at home, straight up, and against the spread this year. New Orleans looks like it holds all the aces in this matchup, but that 10.5 point spread looms large. Only 38% of double-digit NFL favorites have won over the last six years. So that is a trend to consider. Now Sunday, the Giants are a three-point favorite over the Falcons in a game to be played on their home turf in the Meadowlands. On paper, the Falcons' run defense should shut down the Giants' ground attack. I mean, after all, the New York Giants had the worst rushing game in the NFL, and the Falcons have the sixth best rushing defense in the league. That would mean that Eli Manning is going to be forced to use his arm in that game. But they don't play games on paper, and recent trends show the Falcons freeze when facing tough teams. There are only one and four against the spread in their last five games against winning teams. Meanwhile, the Giants play up to the competition, and they have put up a solid five and two spread record in their last seven games against teams with winning records. Now finally, Sunday night, the Steelers have been installed as a nine-point favorite on the road over the Denver Broncos. And the Broncos failed to score a touchdown last week when losing to the Chiefs in a game that Jim Hurley's network was all over. Now although rookie quarterback Tim Tebow has garnered most of the publicity as much for his professed beliefs off the field as for his play on the field, the Broncos do have the number one running attack in the NFL. 
Now, as big dogs, they need to control the ball and the clock. On paper, the Steelers look much the best with quarterback Ben Roethlisberger playing basically on one leg and top running back Rashard Mandel out with a torn ACL. The Broncos defense may be able to stand up to them. Now those are just a few of the factors that the staff here at Jim Hurley's network have looked into this last week as we get ready to start the NFL playoffs. Last year our wild card weekend was 4-1 for an 80% hit. This year we've broken the weekend down into two special packages for you. Package number one offers you the sweep of the Saturday wild card games with the Compass Bowl game between Pitt and SMU, which kicks off at 1 p.m. Eastern as a bonus play for only $25. Package number two offers both Sunday games, the Falcons at the Giants and the Steelers at the Broncos, also for just $25. And of course, you could take the entire NFL playoff package for just $119. Last year, our playoff record was 9 wins out of 13 releases for 69% winners. Friday's Cotton Bowl and Monday's BCS Championship are included in the package. But football is not the only winning thing at Jim Hurley's network for this week. I told you earlier, we started the year 4-1 and one in college basketball with really pinpoint handicapping wins like Old Dominion minus the two beating James Madison 67 to 61 and Michigan State plus the sex beating number 13 ranked Wisconsin outright 63 to 60 in Madison Wisconsin now I'll talk to you a lot more about ha handicapping the baskets next week but now you can see the results that Jim Hurley's network scouts and handicappers are tuned into the vibes of the season and catching teams on the upswing, which is key to beating the spread. In fact, Saturday we have a basketball TV triple crown using shocking squads that have now just begun to get that on the court mojo that's so necessary to win a team game and throw out the past records. Now these teams are ready to start achieving their potential and just $25 puts you courtside for these three easy wins. Now Sunday Jim's coming back with his college game of the month and all I can say is if you think Michigan State was a surprise win you ain't seen nothing yet. Now let's talk about the one big game that almost nobody wanted to see. I mean, come on, admit it. LSU and Alabama game one was boring football. Across the country, no one wanted this rematch. And LSU is the only undefeated team remaining. They did beat Oregon in the first game of the season, but many thought the Ducks would improve week to week and would have been a more logical rematch than the Crimson Tide. LSU is pretty remarkable, though. They lost top players to the NFL draft last year and got better on defense. Their offseason was rocked by scandal, yet the players came together and forged a team bond at a level that's rarely reached in any sport at any level, and they dusted their competition throughout the year, demolishing Georgia in the SEC championship game. Now, because of that, it seems that all the motivation should be on Alabama's side. The Crimson Tide was beaten in a battle of field goals on their home field. That still has to sting. Plus, the media slings, you know, arrows that they were not the best team to come into the championship game to face LSU, and that also had to hurt their pride. And yes, Alabama bounced back after that first loss, but Mississippi State and Auburn hardly constituted as murderous row as beating Georgia Southern. So how can a powerhouse schedule a team like that? Now, both teams have great defenses because of that, their first matchup was decided by special teams play. Here at Jim Hurley's network, we're looking into what's changed since that first game, getting reports on who has the crisper, more focused practices, and which team has the skilled players to implement a different game plan to make it work. Now, both squads are motivated, and both are talented. The coaches Nick Saban for Alabama and Les Miles at LSU are experienced and crafty coaches. So, yet, 
We don't believe this game will be as close as the first one. We'll be releasing this game to clients for just $25 on Monday. And you can sign up here at the website or you can call the office at 1-800-323-4453. It's a good weekend for collecting with the wild card playoffs, college football's national championship, and basketball's best bets. So stick with Jim Hurley and don't miss one winning play and let's get the money.